What's up, guys? So I've finally done my part. That's right. I've watched the She-Hulk finale. And I have to say, this is one of those rare instances where the finale has completely changed my point of view on the show. And when I say completely, I don't mean completely, completely. But this finale is definitely one of the weirdest finales to any show that I've watched because it completely flips everything that you've, you've seen up until the last episode. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to give you the, the cliff notes right here just so you can you know get up to speed. So basically, in the final episode, we have a generic climax finale where all the elements from the show are brought into one space. So the... The Reddit hacker dudes are in this barn and they're all talking about She-Hulk and, and how much she sucks and all that. And they're basically the representation of people who don't like She-Hulk in the real world. And She-Hulk's friends are there trying to investigate. Emil Blonsky is also there, the abomination. And then She-Hulk herself ends up there. And then Titania, who is the more street level villain who uh, appeared in the beginning of the show, she bursts through a, a wall and you're like, okay, like all this is happening is this... Is this really necessary? And then Hulk out of the blue shows up and I'm sitting there thinking, so we're really doing this. We're, we're doing this. The most boring approach that you could do. I was just very disappointed as I was watching that. Um, just because to me that solidified this was the show. This, the entire show had been kind of a waste of time for me. I watched it because I like Marvel, but it wasn't for me. But as this is kind of happening... Jennifer Walters, She-Hulk, is also kind of commenting on it. She's going, are we really doing this? And then it gets to a point where she makes your screen glitch, basically, your Disney Plus screen, and it freezes, or it looks like it does. And then she pops out of the screen, out of the, the She-Hulk uh, thumbnail, and then she jumps into the, what do you call it, Marvel Marvel Assembled show, where she jumps into, like, the behind-the-scenes show. And instantly, right there, I was like, this is what I've been waiting for for this whole show that's what we've been waiting for and so we kind of see her literally go into the real world behind the scenes of marvel studios which was so cool to see and as this was happening i was like so we're finally they're finally utilizing one of her more unique traits in that she can break the fourth wall they're not just doing the lazy you know she she looks at the camera every now and then and is going hey what's up i'm i know you're there because i can break the fourth wall no they're they were actually doing something with it. And then she breaks into the writer's room and is criticizing the writers for how bland and basic and boring the finale is and how predictable it was. I forgot to mention the um the main Reddit guy, the bad guy. Originally in the show, he he stole She-Hulk's blood and he turned himself into a Hulk. So like that was one of the most stupid things ever. But then She-Hulk barges into the writer's room to tell them how stupid that was. And so it was this weird thing of they made something super stupid happen, super terrible for She-Hulk to come in and say, hey, can we not do this? Because this is not good. And so right there, I'm thinking back to the entire show where everything felt so predictable, so stupid, so lazy, so obviously trying to get the internet's attention. And then here we have She-Hulk telling the writers, can we not do that? You're like, wait, was the show meant to be stupid so it can call itself stupid at the end it, it's this weird weird thing and then she asks to speak to to kevin who initially i thought was kevin feige the president of marvel studios but no it ends up being a ai basically like a big old robot that's kind of creating these algorithms and formulas to to make the marvel cinematic universe that we know it was kind of like a little commentary on how formulaic some of these marvel movies may seem to be i mean for the first time we literally have a marvel character criticizing how predictable the endings can be and a lot of the the uh, tropes that we see in in marvel movies and it, it was cool to see she hulk barge through marvel studios and beat up some some security guards as i'm watching it i'm like so this is this is all brand new stuff that we've never really seen before and that's, that's what you want, right? In, in a show, you want, you know, new stuff. That whole real world sequence, I was like on board 100%. Like that's what I really would, would have liked this entire show to be. It's weird the way they, they approach it. I guess they wanted the whole entire show to be super meta. So She-Hulk is talking to this robot, asking if she can change the ending. And she does. She ends up getting rid of the stupid She-Hulk blood stolen storyline. She gets rid of Bruce Banner being there. She basically redoes the finale. Um, she asked to bring Daredevil back 
back. So as soon as we went back to the She-Hulk world, the Marvel world, the ending was a lot, it was a lot better. It was a lot more fresh because we didn't have the generic ending that we always expect. And that, that's honestly one of the things that I've criticized a lot of these um, Disney Plus shows. You already know exactly the way the show is going to end by the, by the middle of the show. All the elements are laid out and at the, the last episode, they're going to converge and be tied up in one neat little bow. And this show kind of flipped everything on, on its head. But it comes to a really weird point where you have to look at the show in either two ways, which they kind of admitted Marvel purposely made the show bad. So at the end, they could kind of have a little commentary on how things are starting to be a little formulaic or they made the show to be fun and campy and silly and people didn't like it and they kind of gave themselves an excuse by at the end going well actually all that's stupid so it's okay because we're saying it's stupid but if you look at it the first way then you can kind of really see the show in a, in a new light because i mean just thinking back to all this the stuff that's happened in the show particularly the twerking which is the absolute lowest point in marvel for me but with this ending, now they're going, it's because this AI robot was trying to, to get the internet excited. This soulless AI robot was, was just doing what it was designed to do and what it's been good at in churning out okay stuff that'll get people talking. And so you're like, okay, so, so does that mean She-Hulk, if she had the choice, she would go back and reverse the twerking because the character She-Hulk is against that, but she was written to, to do that. That's just like the weird thing where now it, you almost kind of might seem silly if you liked the show before this episode because Marvel is purposely saying we made the most bland basic stuff because people for the most part will like it. But I liked how at the end she's like, how about we just don't do that and we do something fresh or we just have like a nice happy like family dinner like Fast and Furious style. I don't know. It, there was just something about this episode that I was expecting again the most bland thing that they could have done. I was expecting the finale that they were presenting and then they, they completely flipped that and made you kind of rethink about the whole show but at the same time some might argue that why not just make a good show for the sake of a good show and then you won't have to worry about criticizing your own product i didn't watch all the episodes of she hulk because especially after the twerking and i didn't really feel like there was an, an overarching story you know, so I just didn't watch a lot of the episodes until Daredevil came back. So it's weird. It's like Marvel gave themselves a free pass, basically, to do the dumbest, silliest stuff that they they wanted. So this show is made to be very polarizing. So they did kind of give themselves a, a get out of jail free card. But at the same time, the way they did it, bringing her into the real world, that was fun. I just wish the whole show was that. It would have been really cool for She-Hulk to do some kind of investigation, but have it be in the real world and someone is trying to mess with her story and her plot and she's in our world trying to investigate that there's just a lot more stuff you could do creatively with she hulk and her ability to break the fourth wall and you can see that in the last episode that was the funnest bit from the whole show it's just a shame that that was the last episode and for people that didn't like the show and didn't watch this episode maybe you can go watch this maybe it gives you a new perspective on the entire show yeah it's very interesting i don't know how to feel about it exactly i don't know if i i didn't like the show for the most part but then at the end it, it goes well actually we made it bad on purpose <laughs> so yeah it's um very strange but for me it kind of saved the show at least being aware of the problems with marvel and trying to find a creative way to kind of get around a generic finale i think if anything the finale actually gives you something interesting to talk about instead of just seeing something bad and talking about that bad thing because that's really no fun anyway i just wanted to talk about this with you guys it was just a really interesting finale again i wouldn't be making a video on this show if the finale was as generic as i thought it would be so the fact that i'm making this video is kind of at least for me goes to show how much it completely changed the tone the only problem is it was kind of too late at that point maybe in the in the middle of the season they could have done something like that like a, a twist uh where she does go into the real world and that's kind of a bigger part of the plot but maybe they just thought that was too too much i don't know but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time